Hey, I'll see you on tour in Las Vegas, Chicago, and Grand Rapids in Chicago. It's stand-up and a live panel show. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets, and make sure you go to JimmyDoor.com. Who's this? Hey, Jimmy. This is J.B. Pritzker, governor of the great state of Illinois. How the hell are you? I'm, I'm doing just fine, Governor. How are you? Jimmy, I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. Jeez. And may I say, sir, that it is great to finally talk to you. One proud son of Chicago to another. Yeah, of course, Chicago, my hometown. I'll be there in a few weeks, actually. I am well aware, and I will do everything in my gubernatorial powers to make sure the mayor rolls out the red carpet for your arrival, sir. <laughs> Nothing but the best for a hometown kid done good. That sounds great. Thank you. So why are you calling out, calling out of the blue and kissing my ass so hard like this? Jimmy, I'm doing the media rounds happily, uh, stumping for Kamala Harris and her team. Uh, CNN, NB, MSNBC, now your show. Just getting the good word out about our next president. Uh, but she doesn't need me. She's she's going gangbusters on her own. <laughs> Hell, I'm just doing it for fun. But aren't you also on the short list for VP consideration? Well, yeah, you know, I told Kamala I'm here to help in any way you need. I'll me in the phones. I'll go door to door. I'll clean up after staff meetings. And if you need me to be vice president of the United States, I can handle it too. It's, I see. But now that you mention it, I feel like I'd make a pretty darn good VP pick, if I may say so myself. Uh, okay, why is that? Well, first of all, and let's get this out of the way up top, I'm a large boy. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, yes, I'm a sizable fella. And you know what? So are a lot of Americans. And you haven't seen this represented in the Democratic Party over the years. Kamala, Biden, Obama, John Kerry, what a bunch of bean bowls. I'm a regular, everyday American, and I look like one, too. Having me on the ticket would help balance the scales. I suppose so. Representation is good. Jimmy, I thank you for your support. But building on that, I'm just a regular Chicago guy. I love my <laughs> Cubs, the Bears, Blackhawks. Put me in the stands with a Polish sausage and a lukewarm beer, and I'm as happy as a clam. Hell, I'll eat some clams, too. I'm someone that John Q. Public is going to relate to. That's great. What part of Chicago are you from, by the way? Oh, I'm not from Chicago. Wait, what? I said I was a Chicago guy. I didn't say I was from Chicago. I was born in sunny Palo Alto, California. Ah, <laughs> uh, but you grew up in Chicago, right, or near it? Not even close. I was raised in a wealthy community of Atherton, California, oh, and geez. attended the prestigious Milton Boarding School in New England. No kidding. My family is originally from Chicago, however, so, uh, you know, I've, I've been there. But this whole persona of Chicago guy, you, you even have the accent. How do you grow up in California and New England and sound like this? Jimmy, I wanted to be a governor of a state because it's usually a step in stone of bigger things. I knew I would never be elected in California because I'm a large boy, uh, but Illinois seemed attainable. <laughs> uh, but to be elected governor of Illinois, you had to seem like you're from Chicago. Sound like it, talk about the Cubs and shit, that sort of thing. Uh, so between the Pritzkers being a well-known Chicago family and me doing this whole persona, you know, my plan worked. Unbelievable. Do you feel dishonest? Jimmy, I'm just a regular American who does not currently nor ever has resided in Cook County. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, <laughs> I will do literally anything, and I mean anything, to get ahead. And I think regular Americans uh, will relate to that and respect it. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, being from Chicago myself, actually from Chicago, I have heard of the Pritzker family. If not, if I'm not mistaken, you are one of the wealthiest families in America, right? Is that true? Jimmy, uh, I've never been one for statistics or rankings or any of that kind of nonsense. I'm all about working hard for the American people, the regular Joe and Jane out there just trying to make a living in this crazy time. No, uh -oh. uh, Can I ask you how much you're worth? Uh, Jimmy, my net worth is somewhere in the ballpark of $3.5 billion, according to Wikipedia. What? You're literally a billionaire? How can you possibly be considered a champion of regular Americans? <laughs> Jimmy, 
I'm pretty sure that regular Americans if given the opportunity to receive several billion dollars in inherited wealth, <laughs> would accept it, no questions asked. Uh, the fact that I did that just shows uh, I'm about as, as regular as a fellow could be. Oh, brother. And furthermore, I think it serves as an inspiration. If a regular guy, a massive chub station, J.B. Pritzker, can be handed several billion dollars on a planner, who's to say that couldn't happen to you someday? Uh... I'm pretty sure I'm not going to inherit several billion dollars in the foreseeable future. <laughs> well, that's exactly the kind of negative Nancy thinking the Democratic Party needs to avoid. If we're going to beat Donald Trump in November, whether the VP pick is yours truly or some beltway elitist from Kentucky, we need to pull together and think positive. It's pretty easy to think positive when you're a billionaire, right? Jimmy, I, I don't even think about my money. It's only there to serve one purpose. If I'm faced with some sort of problem, no matter how big or small, I use that giant pile of cash to take enough money so I can solve that problem. And I've never encountered a problem so big that rectifying it put even a dent in $3.5 billion. So you can literally say I've never encountered a problem that I couldn't solve. Yep. Now, if that isn't an inspiring quality, I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's quite something. Thanks, Jimmy. And that's exactly the positive attitude that I want to take to the White House, should I be so lucky. Hell, if she's on the fence, maybe I could throw a couple mil her way to help grease the wheels. Wouldn't that be bribery? Jimmy, I may not be from Chicago, but I'm definitely a Chicago politician. I don't even know what you're talking about. But think positive. Okay. And think big. J.B. Pritzker big. A big fella with a big billions of dollars. <laughs> well, it's been fun talking, Eddie, and your listeners. Hopefully, I'll be able to call back every now and again, and we can talk Cubs and Bratwurst and stuff. Oh, boy. What part of Chicago are you from, by the way? I'm from the southwest side, right by Midway Airport. Okay, I don't know where that is. I've never heard of that. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> hey, I'll see you on tour in Las Vegas, Chicago, and Grand Rapids. In Chicago, it's stand-up and a live panel show. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets, and make sure you go to JimmyDoor.com.